Life is totally, totally lonely. No matter how bad things get on the streets, poverty, hypocrisy, greed, the world, beauty, joy, honesty, and all the rest, one side of the coin or the other, the only real thing is that split second between life and death. In what modernist manners did she reciprocate? What was her Jesse Weston to her Eliot, her fragments against the ruins, her beauty in the void, as she did the police in different voices? Janie is in a room. The room is small. Culture stinks. Books and great men and the fine arts. I want to write myself between your lips and between your thighs. Teach me a new language. Turn my eyes insane. In what way has she utilized the gifts of, one, the alligator, and two, the bird, given his matriarchal auguries, to interest and instruct her. Kathy speaks. If I had any money, I wouldn't give it to you. I'd bury it under all the ice in the world. I'd sprinkle oil on it and set Con Edison on fire. I'd tear it up and make some new fetishes. I'd feed it to the rats who live in my house, but I wouldn't give it to you. What counterproposals? were alternately advanced, accepted, modified, declined, restated in other terms, reaccepted, ratified, reconfirmed. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I am nobody because I work. Dear dreams, please take me over. Where is Persia? And why should we care? One day, Janie finds a Persian grammar book. She begins to teach herself Persian, to have, to buy, to want, to see, to come. I just want to be left alone. I don't want no cancer in my bones. Describe the nature of Petrarchan love at play here. Love is nowhere to be found. Wings are falling on the ground. Some folks like trains. Some folks like shits. I like the way you move your hips. All I want is a taste of your lips, boy. All I want is a taste of your lips. If we could build a fire big enough, would Kathy want to come back to us? We don't care what danger there is. We tell the dead man after he finishes speaking. We gamble for the red book with the dead poet who becomes a devil. So we create this world in our own image. Tell me how to write. She dies a second time. I also fell into the river and died. Dead me. We are dreaming of sex, of thieves, murderers, firebrands, of huge thighs opening to us like this night. Aleph, Bay, Pay, light is before us, darkness closes behind us, and we fly. Was this affirmation apprehended by Kathy? I get distracted real easily. I've been so repressed in this crummy room like a prison every day doing less and less and thinking more and more until something's going to break, probably my body. Now I'm going to do everything. And the problem of possible redemption? It just wasn't possible that she couldn't get away. The human imagination couldn't conceive of such a thing. Her mind wouldn't admit defeat. It kept 
flying and flying. We appear to be nearly done. Why do we not elaborate these calculations to a more precise result? Because everyone I know lives on roads. They're creepy, crawling, sniveling things. I don't want anything to do with them. I hate people. I can be alone. I can close myself up. I won't let anyone get near me. Are we then more convinced of the aesthetic value of the spectacle? No. The government, the big multinational businessmen, the scholars and the teachers and the cops are the people who maintain the roads. The scientists, the philosophers, and the artists are the people who build the roads. We appear to be nowhere near done. Does Kathy then remember that weekend she came out to our farm in Idaho and we hiked to Bear Creek and she was so little girl excited when she saw the deer and the sky was blue even in October and the weather perfect? Does she remember us picking her up at the airport in Portland, mere days after torrential rain sunk the entire western part of the state? Remember spinning around the rose garden in a rusted out Ford Escort before flooding Powell's bookstore with Kathy's Visa gold card, buying up shredded copies of Animal Farm and Vert like lollipops? Yes, she told me. I could barely stand being so happy. Does Kathy then remember how within five minutes of us meeting, sitting at that table in the outdoor cafe in downtown Moscow, Idaho, she began telling us she left her gnarly looking vibrator on the bed at that B&B &B in Oregon the night before and would now be lonely for it always and always. How she asked, what do we think the lady running the place is thinking of her this second? How she leaned back in that electric chair and just laughed and laughed and laughed. Do you think there's a forever? Sure. Everything lasts forever. Love goes away only when your mind goes away. And then you're someone else. There are no truths anymore. Nothing stands up. But there is a world right in front of your eyes. Anyone can do absolutely anything he or she wants. It's all absolutely free in the brilliant sunlight. We gotta get to a point where we can be together.